Welcome back to Living 808 and to our final day of Kauai Week. No visit to Kauai would be complete without a sail along with the Pali Coast. That's right. Oh, yeah. This is a must for any visitor to the Garden Isle. Now, John got to experience this with Captain Andy's sailing adventures, and it was a definite highlight for him. Take a look. On the water with Captain Mike Da Silva. Mike, thank you so much for having us、uh, on board. But this is just such an amazing trip, and it looks like by the faces of everybody here, they're loving it. It is、uh, definitely beautiful water, good conditions today,、uh, beautiful Hawaii sunshine. How did the Southern Star make its way to Kauai? So, Southern Star was built in the U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Croix.、Uh, Captain Nanny himself, along with a few different crew members, hand selected toughest ones that he could find,、uh, sailed them up to the Panama Canal、uh, over the Pacific. Took about seven weeks. Why is this a must, a bucket list must for both locals and tourists? Because not only being on the water, we have good food, good friends, you know, marine life. It's just an experience that you guys need need to do、uh, out here on Kauai. Um, I would say that、uh, this is probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen, and you see it every day. I would imagine that your job is pretty fun. It's tough, but somebody's <laughs> got to do it five days a week. What is the What is the toughest part about this job for you? Toughest part of this job would be、uh, probably waking up in the morning, but coming to work. I mean, look at what we see every day. You know what we're about to see in the Pali Coast. It's rich in, in culture and history, and that's what we want people, our, our guests, to to experience the history and the culture and our, just the beautiful people in a beautiful place. We get to see Mount Waialeale. We also, and you also, get to see every day the Napali Coast. That's one of the most beautiful places on earth. It is definitely the、uh, second tallest sea cliffs in the world, second fastest eroding coastline in the world.、Uh, grew up on the coast. My family's history goes back to the 1600s up there on Napali. All right, you said good food, and so I'm all about good food. So it's, I think it's time right now that we go check out the food. Yes. Cool. Let's do it. Joining us now here on Living 808 is Chef Neil, the executive chef for Captain Andy's.、Uh, what kind of spread are we looking at?、Uh, we do all fresh grind Makaweli beef. That's a special grind done just for us、uh, at Captain Andy's. It's a coarse grind, all、uh, chuck beef.、Uh, we did our homemade buns. Uh, lettuce,、uh, locally grown tomatoes, homemade paniolo beans that we do from scratch. I think you enjoyed those, and we bake our cookies right on board. Also, our kitchen staff takes a lot of pride in doing everything from scratch. And that's just lunch. You also have a dinner cruise. Yes, at dinner time we do makaweli filet mignons.、Uh, we do a start with a Caesar salad.、Uh, we do a mixed salad as well. Uh, filet mignon, grilled shrimp,、uh, grilled asparagus, some carrots, gingered carrots,、uh, roasted baby red potatoes, and key lime cheesecake for dessert on our dinner cruises. Pretty fabulous, pretty fabulous menu. Perfect. Look like a fun adventure. Absolutely. Lucky him, and look at all those dolphins and、I、fish. I know and... the spinner dolphins. Oh my goodness! The coastline is is definitely、uh, breathtaking. Yeah, and again, I didn't know this, but like 90 percent of the island is inaccessible by roads. So you have、wow. to either hike or or take a boat or ride by helicopter to see these areas. And especially that coastline there, there's no other way but boat. Yeah. Stand up paddle board. Snorkeling, diving. I know. Got to、so. check it out. John always gets the fun trip. <laughs>、yeah. He does.、Yeah. The Honolulu Marathon is right around the corner, folks. And today's go the distance segment.